you never know, I may drop in on you. I am dropping in on Janet Ormit, CFMG in Ottawa, Ontario. I've been on quite a journey all across the northeastern part of the United States and southeastern part of Canada here. And Janet is one of my stops along the way. We first met many years ago. I do you remember what year that was? 2013. 2013. So, okay, three years ago, going mm -hmm. on four, in Kuwait, of all places, two Westerners in the Middle East, uh, and we were both there for grooming, for cat grooming in particular, and I am excited to be here now visiting Janet. She's earned her certified feline master groomer. She has become one of our approved trainers and remote certifiers for the NCGIA and has just very recently opened Cat's Pajamas here at this very location. So it's all really nice and, and new and shiny and beautiful. And so Janet, tell me, when did you first open Cat's Pajamas? Well, first of all, let's talk about the cupcakes. Okay, so we met this is in Kuwait, 2013, and this location I have been open full time serendipitously exactly one year today. Happy birthday! <laughs> so it's birthday cupcakes. <laughs> but we did, uh, as I said, I actually opened um, uh, cat grooming. I didn't have a name totally figured out mm -hmm. before I even got back from Kuwait. Okay. So in other words, I had built the website, started booking in cats before I even got home back to Canada. And we met in 2013 over there, right. but you stayed, you were there just a little bit longer um, beyond the time that, that I was over there. Um, so when did you return to Ontario? So we, you came over and uh, did some private instruction for us. Um, and um, I did my exams the very end of April, beginning of May. Okay. And I returned to Canada on the 1st of July. Okay. So basically I was... Okay. Very short. Cat, yeah, yeah, exactly. Yeah. Within, the, within the week, yeah. I was doing cats. Oh, wow. So. And there were a lot of cats to practice on over there yes. in Kuwait. Well, I couldn't believe how many Persians we had yes. just in a, that few days of a workshop. Um, it's kind of like a cat groomer's um, dream over there. Oh, yeah. Yeah. It was, yeah. it was a, completely the flip opposite of you know everything we've learned here in North America. It was prim primarily cats over there, mm -hmm. and it was the cats getting washed and trimmed, yes. and a smaller percentage of dogs. So. That's why you were Isn't like that out for help came yeah. because it was like we really got to up our game because yeah. we don't know enough about cats. Yeah, and we recognize that. So, and aren't you glad that all happened? Because look, oh, yeah. you are. Uh, here I am, three years <laughs> yeah, later, yeah. Um, with a business that's continuing to grow every single month. Mm -hmm. uh, repeat business, um, networking, social media, yeah. everything's been you know working. Wonderful. And your background is with dogs, show dogs in that's particular. Right. So, right. what led you? <laughs> on this, like you don't end up dogs cats. here, yeah, the cat's pajamas. Yes. yes. Okay, so yes, I did end up, first I was in, uh, I learned the craft in the show ring. So unlike most dog groomers who kind of either go to dog grooming school or apprentice or whatever, I learned, um, I had many different mentors in the show ring. And then I turned to dog grooming and it really helped because it would bring my uh, quality and my understanding mm -hmm. of breed standards and uh, physiology and textures and coats and everything um, to the forefront so it made me a very excellent groomer in a short period of time but then when the cats started coming um, I really was out of my depth and I knew <laughs> that um, as I said you know you knew right away that you typically charge more for cats because yes. it's dirty difficult dangerous but these cats would not go home clean would go home, you know, either soaked in urine or half wet, or a job not well done, or tracking marks, or anyway, it would not go yeah. well. You weren't happy. With I the was results. totally. I I stopped grooming cats altogether because it was a point where I felt I can't possibly put my name on what's going on right, the door. Right, so I right. stopped cat grooming, but not without first trying to find a mentor in the cat show world. Okay, and it was kind of funny because uh, I, I went to a couple of cat shows. I started trying to have conversations with cat people. 
for whatever reason, it was like a closed society. Yes. Nobody, nobody <laughs> would is. help me. It was like they were giving away deep, dark secrets. Mm -hmm. And so as I said, I, I gave up on cat grooming because yeah. I didn't feel that I could yeah. have a quality result. And then came Kuwait. And then came Kuwait, awkward. and it yeah. was just, oh my god, I've jumped off the deep end. <laughs> yeah. So when you got back here to Ontario then, you had to start from ground zero and build that clientele, because yeah. you had been gone for some time, so you, did, you were coming back to the beginning. Right. Okay. Right. So you're a, couple, you, you're a few years into this. Mm -hmm. Uh, you were um, originally uh, working out of a leasing space from another, yes. okay. So what was happening was when I, just before I had gone to Kuwait, I was working with a former student of mine at her place. Um, and uh, we knew that I was gonna probably return, but when I was over at Kuwait and with everything that went on with the cat grooming and certification, I basically emailed her and I said, hey, can I borrow your space yeah. when you're closed? Right. And she was like, sure, and I told her what I yeah. was, you know, contemplating with the cat grooming and so as I said I, I bought some website domains mm -hmm. built a website um, and you know the organic search has already started so the brothers right. bookings before I even got back yeah so you, you didn't even have a place or equipment or anything to do yeah, it but yeah. you've got clients no, I, had, I had clients and there was the, the need and the niche yeah, right there absolutely. just waiting to be like yeah. the door to be opened on it so. And that, that really is a great way also for, for those watching this that don't have a facility um, and contemplating you know what where to start with that, if there really is that need where they live, which in many places mm -hmm. there is, um, leasing another groomer's yeah. space Absolutely. during that off time, a couple mm -hmm. days a week. I mean, most grooming salons are Absolutely. closed two days a week, or maybe it's the evening time or whatever. And uh, that's just really a win-win, yeah. you, you know, yeah, uh, low-cost way to get in. Uh, you have very little equipment that you have to, to put up front, mm -hmm. if anything, maybe a few specific things like the, the air muzzle and whatnot. Uh, but that's that's a great way to go. Oh, absolutely, because it also it's a pilot program to see how, you know, uh, how much of a need yeah. there is, uh, how much do you have to do networking and so forth yeah. in your area. So you can do it as a pilot program without making yeah. a huge commitment. Yeah, no lease so, agreements. Exactly, no lease that. agreements or anything. So use yeah. your fellow colleagues as yeah, you know absolutely. as a foothold to, to kind of get the word around that this is this yeah. is available. I just thought of this, and I'm sure you already are aware of this because you've done it, but you're also, uh, it's an opportunity for both businesses to grow because of the cross um, special ownership. Yeah. That, oh, but you see, you Absolutely. have dog clients already coming into this place. Mm -hmm. They're not offering cat grooming services. Statistically, those owners have a cat at home, and so now there's also the the cross mm -hmm. referral between the dog groomer exactly. and the cat groomer in the same place, which is you know another mm -hmm. added benefit. Um, and at no cost to either party, which is really great. So when did you open this facility that we're sitting in right now that's looking down over this, this nice little shopping center area with coffee shops and nail salons and mm -hmm. all these different things? When did you open this? So as we mentioned, we opened exactly a year ago here full time. Um, half a year into doing the whole pilot program where it was born by a colleague's uh, space, I realized that yes, this could definitely work. I was full all the time, you know, during those closed hours, a couple of weeks ahead, so I knew yeah. it was definitely go. The biggest problem I had was finding a suitable location to oh, actually yeah. open. Yeah. Um, it's, it's very difficult to find a suitable place that has the professional sort of uh, atmosphere and yes. environment that you want to portray mm -hmm. um, instead of unfortunately you know it's a, as a groomer it's a challenge because we're often left with the lesser fringe yeah. plazas shall we <laughs> say yeah. and it's very hard to justify your pricing or have the clients who come in the evenings feel comfortable uh, or to have just a clean enough scale. facility. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Yeah. So it was a challenge to find some place that not only kind of portrayed the professionalism I wanted, uh, but to find a, you know, a landlord who was willing to give me one of those places yeah. that had the sort of quality that I was looking for. So it was a year and a half endeavor. Yeah, I remember you searching mm -hmm. in vain so for searching a long in vain, time. You yeah. know, a lot of false starts. 
And even you were telling me that the landlord here, you had to really have a sit down and chat with him and explain mm -hmm. to him what all is involved in this, right. that you know, you, you don't have 25 cats roaming around right. the premises. It's, you know, it's and just, everybody comes in in, in a crate and yeah. it's very civilized and, <laughs> you know, there's nobody leaving packages behind, right, you, know, right. you know, or anything like that. So it was uh, education for mm -hmm. uh, the landlord, but fortunately he was very open-minded, mm -hmm. so, I mean, I got into this facility as a brand new build. So. Which is a, a lesson also for those listening. Don't mm -hmm. just always accept no um, or not possible as the Think final answer. The box. Yeah. Think outside Think the outside box. Think the litter box. That's yeah. what we litter. say. Yeah. So you, you know, you, you could have said, oh, they, they won't allow a pet business here, but instead you took the time to meet with a, mm -hmm. a landlord who was a reasonable person, with, you know, right. willing to consider something outside the norm, outside right. the box. And, and here you are. And you know, what a great place. Well, as I said, I had watched it go up under construction. A couple of times, like I don't didn't live in this area, but a couple of times mm -hmm. I had just happened to pass, and I had always thought, you know, that would be a great location. Yeah, you know, for me, for where I I was also in, in the middle of a personal move, so not only for me, you know, commuting, sure. but you know, this is a whole new development yeah. and There's neighborhood. I mean, road everything the road. exactly. Yeah, There's that Costco going oh, yeah. across the road and all There's nothing. All right construction there. and growth. Yeah. Um, and I thought it was a fantastic location, but then right away in the back of my saying, oh, there's no way they're going to get in there because yeah. it's brand new. You yeah, know, like, yeah. And then one day, as it was finally actually finished construction, but it was there's still vacancies, I just stopped on a whim. I called up the number. I didn't realize that the landlord actually lived right here oh, nice. in, within the development. He came down, we started talking, and I've never looked back. That's great. Yeah. So, yep, yeah, pursue it, right? Yeah, exactly. Pursue it. Give it a chance. Give it a chance. chance. You never know. Yeah. So, let's talk a little bit about um, your teaching and training. I know mm -hmm. we've had a couple students come to you here, mm -hmm. and we've referred many your way. Mm -hmm. uh, it, 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 which is great because we don't, you're the only person we have up here for hundreds of miles um, to offer NCGI training and the testing opportunities. Mm -hmm. So you have had people here in this place oh, yes. and yes. it's, you've got plenty of room, three work mm -hmm. tables, you've got space yep. for more tubs and things like yep. that as, as time goes by. You've got the Caddyshack back all blinged yep. out, which if you haven't checked out her article in the yes. latest this is, in the fall it's issue. It's my Kim CS. Yeah, the Pip Pip My CSB <laughs> in the um, Perfect Pointers magazine. It just came out, so it's the one with the kitten on the front and the the nice uh, '50s farm setting. So this will this will get watched years from now. So we mm -hmm. want to refer back to it. Okay. Online and member benefits, and uh, so you've got instructions in there for pimping out the CSB, which is mm -hmm. which is fun. And you're kind of that kind of. A, I know you and your husband. You, you ride mm -hmm. motorcycles and things, so you're you're totally into pimping things out. Right? Well, no, no, no. no well, actually, we ride, in a good way. We, we ride good. the wrong kind of bike to pimp out. Oh, but, do you? But, oh, but no. But we, we're both people who who are always looking at ways of improving, mm -hmm. ways yes. of um, making things more efficient, easier yeah. to use. Uh, yeah. We both believe in having the best tools because they're always worth the investment. Absolutely. You know, to make your life easier, to make, you know, things turn around faster. So, Absolutely. Like, is it, so the CSB is a, was a great mm -hmm. base, but then it was just like, yeah, but, you know, this could just, you know, and then, yeah. you know, but I do that with everything. Yeah, you're creating your mind. <laughs> exactly. How can I tweak this and make it yeah. nice? And know? it's even my yeah. front counter, like from the way yeah. the client gets onto the website, mm -hmm. how they can self-book, how all the check-in and check-out mm -hmm. is all done no wires, nobody sitting at the phone, yeah. it's all automated, right? Because yeah. it makes my life easier. Yeah, and it makes their life easier. And it makes it uh, yeah. uh, simpler for them yeah. to actually yeah. come see you. So that's, that's what it's all so about. We live in that world. That's now. right. We and, do. and I guess the way to look at I'm an early adapter. <laughs> yes, you, you are. Yeah, yeah, you are. Yeah. And that's what's led to your, your success yes. in, in all of these different things. Um, uh, even with Chubbs Bars, Janet mm -hmm. is our Canadian Chubbs Bar distributor, and I use you as an example for people that inquire with us about mm -hmm. distribution in other foreign countries. Um, I'm not really interested as a as the the owner of Chubbs Bar Company um, working with people that don't get that because it's like dragging through the mud, you mm -hmm. know. And 
I, it frustrates me to know, and I like people that, that see the, you know, hey, let's let's use technology, let's figure out the simplest way to get around this mountain, and let's make it happen. And that's, you know, and we hear this also from the Canadian, your Canadian customers, our mm -hmm. Canadian customers, how wonderful your service is, and, and expeditious, and all those things. So good job with that. Um, and keeping up with things, you know, keeping mm -hmm. up with the times. Yeah, that's so important. important, whether it's a grooming business or yeah. whatever, we've got to keep and, up. And that's what I love about your your school going online in the yeah. last year, you know, and and, so it, and because of it, you know, we do we've done workshops yep. here for multiple people. We've done, of course, personal private instruction as well, mm -hmm. and we've done exams here, you know, and it's all part of getting it all out there and accessible for everybody. Yes, you know, yes. So. It, it, we have that technology at our disposal. Um, we have a worldwide market. Why not use it? And, it, and it's, it's, you know, 10 years ago um, when I started the National Cat Groomers Institute, it was 2007, so nine and a half years ago, we didn't have those things at our disposal, not cost effectively. And now they're user friendly, cost effective, easily accessible. There's an app wow. for everything. Yeah, there's an app for everything. You know, people yeah. can sit there and learn how to do a like on their phone, you know. Yeah. Yeah. So this is the way of things. Um, now, if someone wants to contact you for private instruction or taking exams, which mm -hmm. I'm going to say, if you haven't had any instruction, haven't gone through the online courses, you need to do that before taking the exams. Uh, do not just, you know, call Janet and say, hey, I want to take exams. They're hard. Yes. Those that have been there and done this can tell you they are hard, and there have been tears and hair pulling and things like that over these exams. But they're, they're like that for a reason. So we have the online courses to help prepare you for, of course, the written material. That is an absolute must. Written exam study prep course, which is formerly the, the printed study packets. If you have those, you're set to go. And then, of course, the demonstration explanation theory and all of the things that are at the heart of what we teach here and at the heart of what you really need to know in order to take those exams. And then once you get through that, you can give Janet a call or email her. Should they go to catspajamas.com? They can either visit, exactly, they can visit the website, which is either catspajamas or ottawacatgrooming.com. Okay. Um, or they can reach me at on the phone or whatever, mm -hmm. I'm very accessible. Yes. <laughs> Even messaging, you know, yes. Facebook, you name it. Yeah. There you go. Um, and and then we set up an appropriate private instruction. Day. There you go. And then you can purchase that by the day or days, days however you'd like. Um, spread out. Some people find that helpful to come maybe for mm -hmm. an initial day or two, and kind of get the, the feel of the it. The feel. And then they go back with homework. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Sure. And then they come back. Yeah. Oh yes, I give homework. <laughs> yes. She's so. been instructing for a very long time with both uh, dogs previously, and then now with the cats. So she's got a lot of experience with all of that. And, and it's just um, that hands-on is vital. And then at that point, you'll get, whether you see Janet or uh, Melissa Hall or, or you know, mm -hmm. Naomi Conroy or Helena Schmidt, whoever it is around the world that's doing exams, you'll be able to get an assessment from them um, based on what you do in front of them to know what you need to go back and work on to prepare for those exams. And that is such vital information. Mm -hmm. So. Yeah. And there's a lot of things that you know, like people come into cat grooming um, from many different backgrounds. Mm -hmm. But there's always things that you know they uh, they haven't thought about. Absolutely. You know, whether it's from yeah. business perspective or whether it's from their uh, personal handling experience yeah. or what you know, there's so many different yeah. aspects, and every every single person has different needs and different way of looking at things, and you have to sort of put it in a realistic context for mm -hmm. them. So. Absolutely. Yeah. That, and, and that's so true. That's such a part mm -hmm. of instructing is meeting that person where mm -hmm. they're at, taking the skills they already have, even mm -hmm. if it's at ground zero with them, mm -hmm. and building on that in a way that, that, that is meaningful to them so they can get where they want to be. So. I really appreciate you letting me drop in on you as I'm making my drive through the wilderness of Ontario. It's been and beautiful. The fall oh. colors. Wow. And congratulations to you on, you. on your complete circle of the five <laughs> lakes, great lakes. My gosh. Yes. Double Cowabunga. Yeah, double Cowabunga. <laughs> I know. And, uh, you know, like, as I said, amazing. 
you're just totally an inspiration for so many of us, and it's been a real privilege having you come yeah. and drop in. And, and, and so serendipitous. Let's, let's have a cupcake, <laughs> shall we? Serendipitous on this, on this anniversary of opening full time. Congratulations to you. And I couldn't think of anybody better to share it with. Well, thank you. You want thank chocolate? You. Doesn't matter.